in the big city, and it's time for all the ponies to gather. I repeat, Perry in the big city, and it's time for all the ponies to gather. The last episode was an absolute blast. It was both thrilling and spooky. Absolutely, Starlight is indeed very true. Even Princess Loon enjoy herself in her own way. It was a part of her inherent nature. Okay, so next in line is Strawberry Shortcake. Barry in the Big City, Season 1, Episode 9, titled It's My Fur, Tia Ha Ha, Cat Pun, Very Funny. Boo! So, because it's a cat title, that means the episode will focus on her pet cat, Custard. Well, great, I'm a pony with a cat like personality, so I'm really going to enjoy this episode. I'm feeling pretty confident about what Meg Favreau has in store for us. Please don't disappoint me. Made her! Well, let's see what she got! Let the ninth episode begin. Bright, Princess Light Sparkle is gonna start the episode now. So let's go! Meow! Meow! There's Custard! Oh! Oh my stars! I just had a light bulb moment! Ashley Ball is the one singing the theme song! And she's not only the voice actor for me in Rainbow Dash, but she also voiced Plum Pudding in Berry Betty Adventures! Oh, well, that's intriguing! A fun fact I need! Same old, same old, same old story, same situation. This is a very important cupcake order. If I were here with her, I would definitely want to help in baking cupcakes to care. We make great baking buddies, don't we? Ah, oh, she is such a cute little cat, isn't she? Uh, not now, Custard. I have to finish this special... Um, um, Strawberry, it's a special day for her today. Custard. It's almost as if she's neglected the fact that it's her special day. Such a melancholic situation. Hey, a dog! Maybe can help us out? Oh, I see. Pupcake and Cheesecake notice Custard's sad demeanor. Poor thing! She really means her animal friends. This is giving me Major Littlest Pet Shop vibes! It's like the animals are having their own little conversations! Aw, uh, Nellis is cute! Um, what are their pets planning exactly? Oh, it's great that her friends are willing to help out. Friendship can make a big difference, especially when it involves custard. A true, true friend helps a friend in need. Cheesecake. Oh, I didn't know you liked charades. Ha 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 ha. Two words. One word. Sounds like... Day? Lemon. Who forgot what? This way. <laughs> Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. <laughs> Custard. <laughs> yes, she failed to realize that today is Strawberry's birthday. They need to throw a party to celebrate. One Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. Oh, Earth Day. Well, Earth Day is truly special. Over a billion ponies come together to honor Earth Day, working towards safeguarding our planet from horrible threats such as pollution and deforestation. Through simple acts like cleaning up trash and planting trees, we are actively contributing to creating a better, more sustainable world for all. And additionally, this is why Misty planted a tree to symbolize her transformation for the better and make your mark chapter 5, and the heartfelt sound her friends sang. Hence, that's the reason Misty is a reformed pony friend of mine from a future generation. Ah, birthday. <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday! That's what we've been trying to tell you, darling! Yeah! That's what we've been trying to tell you! Uh, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday! I did what now? So I what are you hiding? Birthday, the one that's 
tomorrow? Huh? Wait, what? Hold on, did you say her birthday is tomorrow? Okay, she's been feeling down for no reason at all. Oh, that's awkward. Or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order? Oh, look at that. She sprinkled in some cat food. So cute. Lemon? That's cat food. Nah. Lemon? You ain't a cat like custard, silly. Exactly. Excuse you, Lemon and Apple Bloom. Surprise party tomorrow. But since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. Oh, fucking yeah. Double the party, double the excitement. Hooray! Fun, 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 fun. Custard. Happy birthday! Ha ha ha! Lemon Moring still thinks she's custard by gobbling up another cupcake with cat food. Ha ha ha! That ending was a real knee slapper! I can confirm that this episode that I'm compared to is in a BG free episode, positively pink. Let's double the fun for our pink strawberry girl's birthday party! I really have to say, girls, and Spike, I absolutely adore that first Pets and Tread episode. It was truly a delightful watch, and that was... It's my perk. Well, Meg definitely lied up to my expectations. Great job. The pets had a truly beautiful episode. Custard, the loyal and caring pet is Ferrari Shortcake. Couldn't her deceive her bullet on her birthday go unnoticed. As she walked the days past by without any minute of the upcoming celebration, Custard knew she had to take matters into her own paws. Gathering the other pets in the neighborhood, Custard charred her plan to make sure Ferrari Shortcake's special due is not forgotten. And you remember ponies that episode. It's the one where Pinkie Pie's friends turn all the pony go pink. Just like her, but oh no, Minnie makes a date. Her birthday is the next day, but it's waiting as they're gonna celebrate it today, birthday. Yes, positively pink. That's the episode you're talking about. And I can see the Camaris in there. It must have been quite amusing for me to see them and try out strawberry cupcakes for custard, especially since they were sprinkled with cat food not just once, but twice. Silly Lemon, I take delight in that particular one. The animals are so charming in this place, particularly when custard interacts with the other owner's pets. Have I mentioned that the way the pets communicate with each other is bringing back memories of Little Us Pet Shop? Yes, you did, Rarity. I just learned that this episode breaks the tradition of having cutaway segments where a character talks to the audience. Yeah, I know that to Spike. To sum up, Meg, you really knocked it out of the park with that episode featuring Custard and her furry friends. You impressed me, 